Hey ladies, this is just a little update for you. I'm in Puerto Rico right now. Uh, I just left my speech course in La Las Vegas. So you're gonna hear me using a exaggerated speech techniques to help me with my stutter. So just bear with me while I do what I need to do to heal myself. I'm in Puerto Rico right now, visiting my family for a couple of days before I take off back to Sa Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. I just want to say something really quickly right now that needs to be said. I want you all to know that you should not worship false gods. And that could be something as simple as like worshiping me. Most people don't worship me, but I know there's a few people that do because I can tell by the messages they send me. And th that is so flattering to me. That inflates my ego. I love that feeling. It gets me so high. God, I love it so much. And I appreciate you so much when you worship me. Of course I do. But the truth is, is that I love you guys. I love you guys so much and I want what's best for you. And I'm going to sacrifice that amazing feeling I get when people worship me and tell me that I'm the best and I know everything. And of course, my egoic side loves that and I would love to encourage it. But because I love you guys so much, I want to tell you, don't do that. Don't love me too much. Don't listen to every single thing I say. Some of the things I say are not meant for you. Maybe they're meant for somebody else. And so some of the levels I'm on at different t times in my journey might not be the level that's good for you to be listening to, okay? We're all growing at different rates and different speeds depending on how many years we've been on this planet and what we're experiencing right now. None of us are completely right and none of us are completely wrong. The words I speak are channeled and meant for certain people at certain times. Don't take every single thing I say as truth for you. It could be truth for somebody else, but not necessarily for you at this point in your journey. Yes, listen to everything I say and take it and store it in the back of your mind. Pull some of it for use right now and some of it for use probably in the future. But not all of it's going to be valid to you right now. So please don't put too much weight on me. Don't put too much trust in me, okay? Trust in you. Trust in God. Trust in your higher self more than anything. Don't put the responsibility on me or on a, you know, anybody else. Whether it's like somebody on YouTube or, you know, one of your teachers or a... You know, somebody you may take r r religious advice or counsel from. Listen to all of them. Gain all the different perspectives and then combine it all together. And then ask God to help you determine which things are right for you right now. Okay? I want you guys to follow God. Listen to God. And if there are words that I speak that help you in your journey, then wonderful. There may be things I say that aren't meant for you right now, or maybe not, not meant for you ever in your particular journey. Everybody's life is different. Everybody's circumstances are different and unique. Yes, we have lots of similarities. So, so many of us that bring us together in this beautiful sisterhood, but not everybody's journey is exactly the same. So don't just follow every single thing I say. Follow some of it. Follow some of it. And just tuck the rest back into your memory bank in case your life changes or you end up taking a different direction or something new pops up in life. You can go back and say, oh, I remember when Lola said this. Oh, it makes sense now. Okay. And that thing is going to benefit my life. Okay. Use the things you need when you need them and the rest just tuck away for future reference. You're going to hear a lot of people say a lot of things 
in your entire life. Just hang on to them, okay? You know, don't try to like judge what they're saying too harshly if it doesn't resonate with you right now. Just take it, store it in the memory bank, okay? You, you literally have an endless supply of storage. You have, I don't know how many terabytes in your brain where you can just store things for later stuff you will forget about for a long time and all of a sudden something comes up you'll be like oh my god i know the answer to this i i know how to handle this particular situation because you heard it you know 10 years ago or 20 years ago okay no information and no advice is actually bad advice completely it's just maybe something that doesn't pertain to your particular life right now just take it and store it away and say okay thank you for the information i'm gonna keep it back here because i might need that one day i don't think i need it now it doesn't resonate with me now but one day it might okay so that's all i want to say to you ladies right now okay i care about you all a lot i love you all a lot and just don't get things twisted listen to what i say but above that, listen to your higher self. Talk to God. Talk to your higher power. Talk to whatever it is you, you believe in and ask for further guidance. Don't make me or any other human being your God. That's worshiping a false God. You don't want to do that because that will end in a shit show. I promise you. Okay, so trust yourself, trust your higher self, trust your higher power, and get in contact with that higher power. And take all the knowledge and information you get from people and listen to all of it, if that's what you choose to do, and then ask God, what things are for me right now, and what things should I just store in the memory bank for later? Okay, so... I love you all. I'm wishing you all your sweetest life possible. Uh, as I also am for myself, I'm definitely wishing myself the sweetest life possible. And I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to go into this, um, back into this bar, restaurant I'm at over here. Get some food. Talk to some boys. There's some boys in there, but I don't know if anything's going to come of it. I do need to kind of build a roster here in Puerto Rico in the town where my family lives. It's just a very, very small town. It's so tiny here, and there's like not that many people. And the crazy thing is, like, half of them are related to me. So I have to be very careful out here not to link up with a sugar daddy that's like my second or third cousin by mistake. That would be really gross, especially if we ever, you know, got really serious. I wouldn't want to do that by accident. That would, that would creep me out. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I have to be careful. And when I'm hanging out in this super tiny town in Puerto Rico, where, where my whole family is from, I need to ask these guys a lot of questions, a lot of questions to make sure we're not related. But it's so crazy because like these guys over here are so cute and they're so cute because, well, duh, they look like me. So every time like I see their faces, I'm like, ooh, those facial features are so desirable. I'm like, well, duh, they look like my facial features. Yeah. Uh, I'm a lot safer in... S s s you guys know this is my stutter word. I'm working on it in, in my speech program right now. So, Santo Domingo. Uh, much safer there when it comes to men and mating. But I'm going to be coming here to Puerto Rico once a month now because it's so close to the DR that, you know, I might as well just pop over for a couple days just to connect with my family. So I will be building a little roster out here. I mean, what the heck? I'm already here. All right, ladies. Talk to you later. Bye for now.